Welcome back. Joining me now from our sponsors at Martinsville Soapworks is owner Heather Klisiak. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Of course, Heather. I want you to start off by telling us about how long ago you started getting into making soap. I started in 2002, like many other soap makers. Uh, my origin story starts in my kitchen, mm -hmm. you know, making soap, and I just kept out growing places. We built a barn, I outgrew the barn, and then um, I moved on to Webster Street in 2013. I was there in a storefront for 10 years, and then last year we moved into the Woolitzer Industrial Complex. Very nice. Well, let's talk about where the name Martinsville comes from, because you ending up at Wurlitzer kind of is a full circle moment it is a full, It is absolutely a full circle. Martinsville was founded in 1843 by a group of Prussian immigrants that came over to escape religious persecution. The King of Prussia was trying to create a state religion, but they were followers of Martin Luther. They were Lutherans, so they eventually came here. They settled right in the little area of North Tonawanda and they named their church after Martin Luther and the area was known as Martinsville until it was it was incorporated into North Tonawanda in 1897 I believe but I could be wrong on that date. <laughs> okay. So what is it like for you kind of ending up there it's kind of almost serendipitous. It is it's, it was it was gr it's great to be back in Martinsville because the Woolitzer building is kind of where Martinsville was it was kind of like on the edge of it. So it's it's great to be back you know I can ride my bike I ride my bike to work my son rides his bike to work you know we're just right down the street if I need something from home I'm like hey could you please bring me this, I forgot my lunch. You know, it's, it's, I love being back. And it's just nice to be back in Martinsville when the name of the business is right. Martinsville Soapworks. And why was that, I didn't ask you that, like what was that connection to you personally? It's funny because my family moved into Martinsville in the 40s. My grandfather was looking for a place to build his house post-World War II my grandfather, and he was trying to decide one of two properties. It was the one there in Martinsville where my in-law, his in-laws had just moved to, or this new place called Love Canal. So he decided to build it in Martinsville, and we're all very grateful. Okay, <laughs> okay, so Martinsville is that family tie. Yeah. It's nostalgic yeah. for you, beautiful. All right, let's talk about the kinds of soaps and other types of products that you have to offer. Sure, we're, we're it, I mean, it's Martinsville Soap Works, but we are more than just soap. Mm -hmm. You know, it, the, the core is the soap. But we do, you know, all the kinds of bath and body stuff. We do lotions and hand and body wash and bath bombs and things like that. But it's more than that. We have plushies and we have Japanese collectibles and we have, um, we have accessories and purses and drink mixes and cool. kind of anything that my family, it's very much a family owned business. So we all have input into what we want to sell. Mm -hmm. And so if we see something, it's like, oh, that's really cool. Why don't we get that? You know, so. <laughs> And then we, you know, we have the seasonal collections as well that That's people right. are always waiting for. <laughs> yes, so tell us, you brought in something from this latest seasonal collection. Yes, we have some that. of the fall and Halloween stuff. We have our two Halloween scents. Um, we have the Poison Apple and then the Werewolves of London, which if you've seen, we did, I did a super cute little video <laughs> that's up on our social media about that. And then this year we also did the Halloween countdown calendar. This okay. is a, these are all like an advent 16, like an advent calendar, but for Halloween and it's 16 different wax melts. Oh, cool. So you do need a wax melter to use it, but they're all individual, 16 individual fragrances. I know there's only 14 on the box, but there's two like hidden under, so you gotta like open up the box when you're done. Mm -hmm. And all of the fragrances are, there's 16 individual ones. Some of them are exclusive to this. So like there's a Screech Bellini in here oh. that you can only get in the calendar. There's a, a pumpkin up the volume is also only in the calendar. This smells so good, by the way. The, this the poison is my apple. favorite, I It is think. a really, really nice one. I, like I am that. very partial to the, to the Werewolves of London because it's based on London Fog Tea. Oh. So it's black tea, bergamot, and lavender. Okay, now are you going to be um, venting at any events coming up? Yes, we are going to be at the holiday, holiday event, sorry, at Buffalo Riverworks on October 12th, and that's from 10 to 5. Nice. Okay, so you do pop ups as well as obviously. I do, we do a few pop ups, mm -hmm. yeah, but primarily we are at the store. Very nice. What, are, what is your best sellers, would you say, maybe from this season or just in general? Um, definitely the soap, definitely our oatmeal, milk, and honey. Is a, is a very good seller. We also have a lilac Ooh. that I have, and those are fragrances I've been making for almost the entire 22 years. 
that I've been making soap and they are super popular. But I do, you know, we do some seasonal stuff. We have some interesting things. We have a, a Loganberry lollipop soap oh, right fun. now. And there's also our Krupnik lip balm. Mm -hmm. We call our lip balm a lip liquor liniment, which if you say it five times fast. <laughs> say it five times fast. You and get a free one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but we do have that in Krupnik, which is a big buffalo thing. The poison apple I found. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Oh, so fun. Um, tell us one more time where you are located or how people can connect with you. We are at 908 Niagara Falls Boulevard, Suite 109, which, like I said before, is at is on the Niagara Falls Boulevard side next to Woodcock Brothers, so don't go in the main building. You won't find us there. We're over on the corner. Um, you can also find us at martinsvillesoapworks.com. You can also find us at the chapel in North Tonawanda on Robinson Street. Oh, nice. And we are at Buffalo Seamery on Parkside across from the Buffalo Zoo. That's kind of a, she, that's my sister-in-law's shop, actually. So. Okay, nice. <laughs> well, all in the family, and we love supporting yep. family-owned local businesses. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Heather, and sharing more about your amazing soaps and other products. Viewers, if you would like to learn more about everything our sponsors carry in store, you can visit the shop on Niagara Falls Boulevard or visit martinsvillesoapworks.com. Thanks again for coming in. Thanks for having me.